It's been a while since his last appearance, and now we officially know that Denzel Washington's Robert McCall is coming back for another third Equalizer movie. Robert McCall, played by Denzel Washington, first appeared in the first Equalizer movie, which was released in 2014 and became a huge success. According to the box office, the film made over $192 million worldwide, which was more than enough to launch an entire film franchise. It's challenging to learn about a man with these abilities in a single film, which is why a sequel was released in 2018 four years later. The numbers once again demonstrated that it was one of the most eagerly anticipated movies of that time. The film received excellent reviews and it made almost as much money as the first Equalizer. What's not to like about yet another fantastic action film filled with drama and a good story behind it? Helping all these random people and everything. Stay off the radar. Some the plot revolved around a former agent who possesses extraordinary abilities but lives an ordinary life these days. McCall is trying to escape the terrible things he has done in the past by working as a shop employee. At first glance, this person with a mysterious past will not appear to be someone who can beat anyone up, but he's capable of much more. Washington, who will soon turn 68, is the primary reason that this movie franchise has become so successful and will be able to complete its trilogy. I can say without a doubt, and I hope that you'll agree with me. The Equalizer 2 doesn't hold back. When it comes to showcasing Robert's humanity, and Washington deftly shifts back into the role of a murderer with a conscience, The Equalizer 2 has a lot of heart thanks to Robert's relationships with those around him, despite how superficial they may be. A compelling emotional threat for the sequel is Robert's relationship with Miles, which serves as a side plot to the movie and may be more interesting than the main mystery. As Robert tries to mentor Miles and keep the young man from joining a local gang so that he can pursue his dream of being an artist, the plot of this movie undoubtedly echoes the one in the first movie. Without a doubt, it proves that Washington's portrayal of Robert works best when the character shows this humanity by committing violent acts as a savior rather than as revenge, or as part of a half-baked attempt to capitalize on a backstory that was never particularly compelling or well-developed in the first place. I thought you were retired. Oh, I am. Like you're dead. <laughs> Fans of the shows started to doubt whether they would ever get to see the trilogy finished. Since the release of The Equalizer 2 in 2018, not much has been said about the third movie. Even now, there is no official confirmation of the movie. When Washington disclosed that the script for The Equalizer 3 was complete in an interview for his critically acclaimed portrayal of the title role in The Tragedy of Macbeth in January 2022, the buzz surrounding the third installment of the franchise really got going. The movie is listed as one of Sony Pictures' top three priorities. Equalizer 3 is one of the movies whose production will proceed at full speed along with Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and Madame Web. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. The film will be released in theaters on September 1st, 2023, according to information revealed this summer. We have a full year of waiting ahead of us, but I suppose it'll be worthwhile. Hey, you what floor she was on. Tying up loose ends. Exactly. Of course, Denzel Washington is reprising his role as Robert McCall, a former Marine and Defense Intelligence Agency operative who, in his civilian life, takes on the role of vigilante defender of those who cannot fight for themselves. There's a slim chance that a character from the second movie will return, but Ashton Sanders, who plays Miles, the young artist who captures Robert's attention in the first movie, might do so. One intriguing casting rumor claims that Dakota Fanning may play the lead in the upcoming film in which Denzel Washington and she will reunite and work on the same project after 18 years since they co-starred in one of Denzel's most well-known films, Man on Fire. Unsurprisingly, Fuqua will once again be in charge of the third movie. But he was already thinking about the potential for another sequel back in 2018. We can't imagine an Equalizer movie with anyone else in charge. They're going to war with me. Did this. Right now, it's difficult to predict what McCall's next mission will be because there are so many options. We can presume that he won't stray too far from his prior decision to help those people who are less fortunate. There won't be as much violence as in the previous films and instead there may be a lot of drama. The Equalizer 3 director Antoine Foucault teased the first information about what viewers can anticipate from the film, saying that it will hopefully reveal a little more about Robert. The third installment seems to be taking a big step forward with its European setting. The first two Equalizer films were primarily set in Boston, with brief side quests into Europe. The team appears to be searching locations in Sardinia, Sicily, Naples, and smaller Italian villages, so it seems likely that a sizable portion of the film could take place abroad. Therefore, based on what he said, we can suggest that McCall will deal with the Italian Mafia this time. 
The director also revealed that the film will focus more on Robert and McCall's past and will have more emotional scenes. It was the agency, family. You ever see Star Trek? Very good. Call 911. Go this might make the situation a little less brutal, and the film might be able to provide many answers regarding Robert's origins and past. It's possible that our former agent will be held accountable for his past errors and deeds. He'll likely have to deal with his former co-workers and what they're up to now. As part of his quest to bring justice, McCall might be targeted by his former co-workers because he'll have to answer some of the questions that these people don't want anyone to know. Washington has already started getting ready to look as good as he can for the film, when asked about it while promoting Macbeth, he replied, I need to get in shape and start beating people up again. It can't get any better, can it? Therefore, there is no doubt that he'll beat and eliminate more bad guys, and if he doesn't do that, he won't qualify as the equalizer. McCall will likely begin the film in his home, which is where we last left him. That would be located somewhere in Massachusetts close to the ocean. Dakota might be a relative of his, perhaps a wandering daughter, who will get in some trouble. Step out, show yourself and I won't kill the kid. The ending of the second film may not reveal anything new about the upcoming one or provide any clues as to where the franchise will go next, but it's a sure sign of what the basics of the third film will eventually be. For example, finding a purpose to remain a prevalent theme in the franchise, or should I say, finding one if you are left clueless and giving purpose to other individuals when they have nothing, guiding them to become an even better version of themselves, something Robert managed to do for all of the victims that were taken care of under his side. At this point, the possibilities are endless, and we'll need to wait to see the first official trader for more information. So I'm gonna kill each and every one of them, and the only disappointment is that I only get to do it once. How many people are out there desperate with no way to The fact that the movie is definitely happening right now is what matters. Fans can relax and begin counting down until the premiere. And from this point forward, we'll be hoping that this isn't the last time we see the equalizer. It won't be a problem if the saga continues with another film in the future if the current film succeeds and manages to surpass the first two. And because of that, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. We hope we're on the same page and that you, like us, are excited to see what this film has in store. It must be superior to the previous two and complete the trilogy in a professional manner. We know Washington is capable of such feats and he'll not disappoint the audience this time either. See you in the next video.